Avoid these asthma triggers. Dust stacks and cigarette <laughs> cigarette smoke. <laughs> what kind of dinosaurs are these? They're cool, that's what they are. Hi, welcome back to the Spanless Game, where I'm playing every Super Nintendo game in order of release. And I have four games today. I have Weapon Lord, Bronchi the Bronchiosaurus, okay, uh, Head on Soccer, and Castlevania Dracula X. And our first game today is Weapon Lord, and the box art looks like that. It's pretty freaking cool. Uh, looks like we've got a whatever kind of monster he is, fighting a dude with a giant sword. Back of the box, combat with a cutting edge. Enter the harsh medieval world and battle for your life against seven savage barbarians, all armed and all dangerous, all fighting to be the ultimate bad, the weapon lord. But to win the demon lord's tournament and fulfill the prophecy of the warrior's moon, you must defeat the biggest, baddest, most skilled killers ever seen in an SNE, Super Nintendo, Super NES, say it right, fighting game. Weapon combat that redefines blocking, attacking, and strategy. Ten special moves per character, including frenzies and death strikes, devastating new combo system, and other stuff. Yeah, I remember this game in the arcades, and I really, I always liked the concept of it. I always sucked at it. I never quite figured it out, but like conceptually, it's like Mortal Kombat Street Fighter, but you're fighting with weapons, which was pretty unique at the time. Since the dawn of time, man has battled. The Demon Lord reigns supreme. Taco supreme. At the height of the demon's power, six warriors dare to face him. Hmm. Okay. Did you already say that one? Nevada. Nevada. Gentile. Just that, what? It was foretold one will live to meet the demon in combat, and the Lord of Demons will fall by the hands of. Kind of looked like the Simpsons font. Weapon Lord. In an age of conquerors on a bloody battlefield, a wounded mercenary draws his last breath, and the spirit of the demon enters his body. He is reborn, rising from the dead to challenge the residing war king to a duel. With one blow, a new empire is started. Ten days and twenty dead rulers later, the armies and lands are united by one man's hand. The reign of the demon lord, Wraith, has begun. At the height of the demon's power, the prophecy of his doom was foreshadowed by a tribal shaman. When the night turns violent and the moon bleeds, gripped by the skeleton fingers of death, a child shall be born under the warrior's moon. The child will rise to face the demon in combat, and the lord of demons will fall by the hands of the weapon lord. Against the advice of the lieutenant to kill the children born that night, the demon lord waits to face his foretold killer in fair one-on-one -on -one combat. That sounds like a good guy. The demon lord Wraith is a true warrior. Even evil can have honor. Twenty-five years later, sensing the prophecy is at hand, the demon lord holds a great tournament of champion warriors. The winner will face the demon in a final battle. The demon lord prepares to meet his destiny head-on and destroy the weapon lord. That could be Kor. Kind of looks like the god of war. That could be Talazia, Maid, Zorn, Gentai, Davada. I'll just be the sword guy. Sword guys are usually the basic guy, right? Kor's journey. Kor, future leader of Tarak, leads his tribe to find himself. He is still haunted by the vision of his brother, who was taken in a raid seven years ago. Outlandish tales of a demon controlling battle arenas led Kor north, where the hu he and hundreds of other fighters created. He is now focused. The years of training, natural ability, and passion come together. Kor reaches the finals unscathed. Now he will face the final five challengers for the right to meet the demon. Battle one. Nah, you did it, me. Stop it. I'm supposed to be the weapon lord. Stop cheesing me. I should have been her. Damn. I got my butt kicked. Oh, I'm still alive, I guess. Win. Battle two. Ah. 
Remember, block is a button and not holding back like in Street Fighter. Probably a good thing to know. I get so caught up in these fighting games with trying to learn, like, special moves that I just get my butt kicked. You could have at least, like, murderized me. Will! I suck at that game. Okay. Weapon Lord. Graphics. Uh, frame rate kind of. Well, it, yeah. Frame rate sucks. It just feels slow. But the graphics aren't bad, so we'll give it a six and a half there. Sound. It sounded like metal clanging stuff. We'll give that a six. Music. Uh, music, we're going to give a 7. Story, um, it's like Mortal Kombat. Each character has their own unique story. It actually is a thing. We'll give it a 5.5. Controls, it feels kind of like Mortal Kombat meets Street Fighter in a way. I couldn't figure out any of the special moves, and I sucked at it. But I'm going to give the controls a 6.5. Funness, I'll give that a 5. doesn't hold my attention. I always wanted to like this game. I could just never do very much with it. Uh, and overall, Weapon Lord is going to get a 6. Oop, six, there we go. Let's see what's next. Our next game needs no introduction. Actually, it does. Bronchi the Brontosaurus. Clear the air about asthma care. Oh, Christ. <sighs> one of these type of games. There was one on diabetes. And... Anyway. <sighs> A dynamite asthma adventure. Meteors have hit Sansarian and kicked up clouds of trouble. Now it's up to dinosaur friends, Bronchi and Tracky. Uh, oh, yeah, bronchi bronchitis, and, okay. And their sidekick, Sam and Kyla, to clear the air with Mighty Wind Machine. But first, they have to find missing machine parts, dodge dino thugs, and avoid asthma triggers like dust, pollen, cold viruses, and more. Can you help them save their plan and to manage their asthma, too? Find out in the breathe-boosting Health Hero video game. Health Hero, trademark, huh? Bronchi has been reviewed and endorsed by the American Academy of Pediatrics. It's from the American Academy of Pediatrics, the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America. Okay, I wonder who the Health Hero trademark belongs to. Can, is, that, is that available? What's, did they let that expire? Bronchi! Wave Quest. Developed by... You know them. Bronchi's Adventures can help you learn important things about asthma, but please remember, this game does not tell you how to, you should take care of your own asthma. Your doctor can give you an asthma plan that's best for you. Yeah, these days this game would be about erectile dysfunction, based on the ads I see on TV and the internet. Years ago, meteors struck Sansorian. Explosions filled air with thick and filthy dust. Filthy. So the mighty wind machine was made to clear the air so everyone could breathe. Then, Mr. Rexo stole the machine, hid the pieces all over Sansarian, and forced other dinosaurs to protect the pieces. Now the dust is coming back. Help Bronchi and Tracky find the lost machine pieces, but don't forget to manage their asthma along the way. Shake. Bronchial tubes carry air to the lungs. Their walls will swell and tighten when your asthma gets worse. Put spacer in mouth. Oh, they're telling me how to use an inhaler. Great. Thought that was like a game thing. Could... Avoid these asthma triggers. Dust stacks and cigarette, cigarette smoke. <laughs> what kind of dinosaurs are these? They're cool. That's what they are. I'm going to collect the lung. Okay. Well, he has an attack, so he's already better than that arrow, the acrobat guy. Can he climb? Nope. Just kind of moseys along. Avoid the dust! What the hell was that? I can't even see what's going on here. How do I manage my asthma? 
I want to hit my inhaler. A juicy, juicy inhaler. And I'm back down here. This game's about as good as you would expect it to be, based on the premise. Where's the cool smoking dinosaurs? Oh no! I triggered his asthma! Bronco tubes are small air sacs in the lungs, large muscles in the brain, passageways that carry air. Yeah, that one. That's right. So there's a quiz in the middle of the go. Oh my god! I don't know what that is. I'm gonna punch him. Oh, can't go any further that way. Why am I still playing this game? Because I want to see the cool smoking dinosaurs. What happens when your asthma gets worse? Muscles bend together around the bronchial tubes. All of these, I have more mucus in my lungs and bronchial tubes begin to sell. Look at me, knowing things about things. There, oh, it's just a floating cigarette. I wanted to see a cool smoking dinosaur. And things get dark. Why am I still playing this horrible game? Because I want to know about asthma. What? My asthma record. Wow. Okay. I skip it? Thank you. Oh, we're still in the city. Let's rate this piece of crap. Graphics, uh, we'll give those a four. They're okay. Um, nothing impressive. Sound was kind of flat and boring too there. Music existed. We'll give that a one and a half. Story, um, it had a bit of a story, I guess. Controls were okay. We'll give that a three and a half. Funness, a... Two wasn't learning fun, does it hold my attention? Nope, and overall it's going to get a two and a half. That was Bronchi the Bronchiosaurus. <sighs> Let's see what's next. Our next game today is Head on Soccer. Applied directly to Forehead Soccer. We got a sticker there and just a photograph of the guy on the right here who is afraid of the ball and the guy on the left who's very cheeky. Look at him. Look at him being cheeky. Time to kick some grass. Head on Soccer takes you it takes the in-your-face brutal playing style of European football and delivers it to you and all four of your closest friends football. I thought this was a soccer game. Whether in exhibition or championship mode, you will be pounding each other in a frenzied attempt to score the winning goal. The only way to handle soccer action this intense is to strap on some shin guards, grab your control pad, and kick some grass. It's a very naughty description of this game. Area, Cameroon, Canada, Chile, China, Colombia, Costa Rica, Denmark, Ecuador, Egypt, Erie, Ireland, England, France, Germany, Ghana, Holland, Honduras, Iran, Italy, Ivory Coast, Japan, Kuwait, Mali, Mexico, Morocco, Nigeria, Norway, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Russia, South Korea, North Scotland. Saudi Arabia, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, Indonesia, UAE, Uruguay, USA, Wales, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Alger they have like every country in the world. My God, there's so many of them. Hey, Canada. Hey, Canada versus Kuwait. It is. I'm playing in the desert. <laughs> I'm the orange guys. Okay. Canada, Canada, orange. Got it. Makes sense. I just touch them and they steal the ball. I mean, I do too. I was like, I purple. Yeah, automatic goalie. Thank you. 
Canada, Canada, Canada. Ole, 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 ole. No, they just steal it too easily. I hate it. Whoa, hold on. That was sad. Okay. Graphics, uh, I'm okay with the graphics. Characters, animations are smooth. Um, give that a, we'll give that a five and a half. Sound, sound, we'll give a, yeah, five. Music, um, we'll give that a, they actually, the menu music was kind of neat. We'll give that a six. Story, there is none controls. Other than the whole touch a guy and steal the ball thing, which makes it very annoying to play, uh, controls are okay, so we'll give that a five. Funness, a three. It doesn't hold my attention. Uh, a one. And overall, it's going to get a five and a half. Probably a decent soccer game. i just not into soccer games. Uh, let's see what's next. Our final game today is Castlevania Dracula X. The X stands for... X-rated. Looks like he's flipping off the sky. Uh, we got a Dracula eyeball back there. Cool. Back of the box. Konami the Legend returns. The game company? Rising up from his eternal sleep, Count Dracula is back again to battle the descendants of the great vampire-stalking Belmont family of the Castlevania series. He has summoned his dark minions, Cerebus, Minotaurus, and the Salamander to bring a reign of terror to on the land. Grab your whip and try to defeat these dark forces of this new conversion of the hit Japanese game, Dracula X. The seven-plus stages unfold with a myriad of possibilities depending on the choices you make during the game. This multi-indie, multi-story feature takes you through the many levels of adventure. You must strategically use magic tomes, mystical power-ups, and titanic weapons to defeat the horrifying bosses and discover secret bonus levels. Wow, look at that. It's rated kids to adult animated violence. When was this like one of the first ratings? I don't know if this is the official ratings that came out later, because this is around that time period. This is after Mortal Kombat and everybody was up in arms about rating video games and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Let's play it. Konami! They make the best slot machines and mobile phone apps. Wish they made games. Castlevania Dracula X. Yeah, I'm just gonna push start here. Okay, Dracula laughs at me when I push start. Great. In for a good time. Oh. Funky music. Uh, Castlevania games always have the best music. I think the uh, the main theme Castlevania song, I, I know it has a name, um, it's in pretty much all the games since the first one, it's probably my favorite video game song of all time. You do know the one I mean. Look at the background with the village on fire and stuff, it's cool. Take that! Daddy, I saw you up there. You hide from me. Oh! That bone hit me. Get hit in the face with a bone. Must be Saturday night. Go up here. Die, bat. Die. Okay, we're safe up here, we're away from the fire. Instead of saving villagers, we're whipping some bones. It's not a euphemism. Oh no, Medusa heads! Hate them! Come on, Medusa head, I know you want there. Hurt! Come on! Must be out of their area. Oh, they, oh, there's another one. I'm not doing so well, health-wise. Oh. Oh. I need to find a wall that has some old meat in it or something. Yeah. 
Ghoul! Whoa, what the hell is that? Nope. I don't accept your death. Nope. I don't accept it. Trick me. One more for the road. Oh, I did it. I killed it. And he must have filled with gas. Ooh, new level. against what I assume is the boss. I have 13 hearts. Okay, Puma Man. Nah, you Fits fire. I want my heart, Puma. I don't like this. Yeah. Castlevania's hard. Graphics. It's Castlevania. I think I prefer the Super Castlevania graphics over this one. These are still really good. We'll give that an 8. Sound. Uh, Castlevania always has good sound. We'll give that a 9. Music. Love it. We'll give it a 10. Story. It's the same old story with, you know, Dracula comes back every so many years. And then Belmont has to stand up and give that a... Three and a half controls. They're Castlevania controls, uh, if you know what that means. So, compared to some games, not the smoothest, but uh, they are part of its charm. Give that a seven. Funness, uh, I'm going to give that an eight and a half. Does it hold my attention? A nine. And overall, I'm going to give it a nine. That was Castlevania Dracula X. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next game. Mm -hmm.